Kia ora, and we go to Wellington now with uh, Minister of Education, uh, Hiki Aparata. Well, you heard that interview there, Minister, uh, and very exciting. Um, but can the, can the public now have confidence in Kohanga, in Kohanga Reo? Derek Fox has said they've gone through all the view, uh, reviews, everything's been cleared. So uh, are you, does the government and the public now have faith in, in Kohanga Reo? Should they have faith in Kohanga Reo? Oh, look, um, what has occurred is a number of reports have been provided that have identified that there have been a range of administrative failures. And the Kohanga Trust is working through correcting all of this to the extent that most recently they've just appointed um, a new chief executive who is highly regarded in the early childhood sector. Um, and we've got just over 460 Kohanga Reo licensed around the country who every day are looking after Tamariki Mokopuna and who are concerned to ensure that they do the best by those kids. Now what remains, and what I have been very clear about for some time, is for the governance of the Trust to be modernised, for it to be representative of those 462 kōhanga, for it to be transparent and accountable. I'm very pleased that the um, Trust Board has advised that they will no longer continue their lifetime appointments uh, to the Board. They've been did you, did you ask them to get rid of the lifetime membership? Uh, what I asked for and what I put in writing yeah. was that there be modernised governance, that it does meet these uh, principles of representativeness, of being transparent, of being accountable, and of ensuring that the whānau voices of the kōhanga around the country uh, can be heard and can be seen on that governance. What the actual form of the governance uh, should be is entirely up to the core. But, uh, I mean, the rumour has it you want the trust to go, right? You want them all to step down? You want no. a whole new governance board? I have, se I have put it in writing what I expect, which is yes. a modern, transparent, representative and accountable but, governance. But what does that mean? I mean, we've got an 86-year-old matriarch uh, running it. You want fire, uh, Dame Eddie Tana gone? You want her out? That's a matter for the Kohanga Reo. She has but been... What, but what do you want? Well, as I've said several times, what does representative mean for those 462 kōhanga? What mm. does being transparent mean for those 462 kōhanga? We've got 9,000 kids who attend those kōhanga. That's less than 20... That's been a drop of... Um, well, that's about 20% of kids. It's been a significant drop over the last 15 years. Yes. I want to see that grow and get stronger and stronger. And that does mean having a modern and accountable governance. Well, they've put up a, they've put up a new model. Why, why haven't you signed that off? Uh, they haven't put up. They haven't put a new model to me. They well, haven't told the, the me. The Kohanga, you know, they're putting their new go uh, governance model together now yes. through their hui, right? And you, I'm very you, pleased about right, that. So you haven't signed off on it yet? No, I mm. haven't. I haven't seen the um, culmination of that process. I think it's been a very good process. I think that consulting with uh, Kohanga Fano around the country is critical to this. Um, but I haven't seen the final model or form that the um, Trust Board, uh, together with Kōhanga have agreed on. Have they handled things well? You heard Miriama talking with Derek there. We had the two hay tier uh, payment. You uncomfortable with that? Should a, uh, should a patron be getting paid? Well, look, I haven't poured over all the accounts. The appropriate authorities have done that. They've recommended where the Trust needs to um, strengthen its accountabilities and its mechanisms, and the Trust is doing that. And I think that with this new Chief Executive and when they've completed their process of establishing a new governance, they will be in a strong well, position. Your, what's your view? Should King Tu Haiti have been paid for, uh, for his time? What's your view? Is, uh... Well, Minister. that's a matter for the trust, but I what do about know... T what about Tītoki Black? Are you concerned about that? Should they be taking that to the police? The former CEO, clearly uh, the spending didn't uh, shape up in, in the graphics that were shown this morning. So Should that be taken to the police? So those are matters for the National Trust. I took my own action, which was to refer these matters to the Serious Fraud right. Office, was to ensure that the Charity Services was reviewing that. All of those reports have now been completed. The Trust is methodically putting in place good systems. They've appointed a new Chief, chief Executive. What remains is a new model of governance that is modern, that is transparent right. and representative. So you're, you're, it sounds like you're backing the Trust, but isn't the real story what Derek Fox said, that the... The Kohanga Reo took you to court in 2012, took the government to court because you wanting to uh, align Kohanga with uh, early education. They, they done you over. They, they won the court case hands down. 
uh, and in fact uh, you came into in for some real criticism. Isn't this more a diversion? And, and the real story is why has Kohanga been treated inequitably? That's what set Derek Fox off this morning, wasn't it? Well, I don't know what set Derek Fox off this morning, but what I can oh, tell well, you... Maybe, maybe the real story's not getting out. Well, perhaps what, what I can tell you is that in good faith, following the report of the Waitangi Tribunal, together with the National Trust, we agreed on a neutral facilitator, um, Dr Sir Michael Cullen. That work programme got underway. That was only put in abeyance when these matters came to light of the nature that have been talked about this morning. Sure. Those do need to be remedied because... Did, did the Michael Cullen, didn't the Michael Cullen uh, report support the kōhanga? In, ter in terms of basically your government being in breach of uh, your relationship with Kohanga Neil? No, that wasn't the role of Sir Michael Cullen at all. His role was to you come You brought him in as a facilitator, right? And, Correct. Uh, and he did a report. The report favoured uh, the Kohanga. You haven't released that report. When will, we, when will we see that report, Minister? The report wasn't about favouring either the Kohanga or the government. It was about setting out a work programme for the two parties to follow. My point is this, that that was all put in abeyance while these matters that have been the subject of several reviews were corrected. That process is underway. However, what I have said is, as part of that, and I've been saying this and in writing for 18 months mm. now, is that there new, needs to be a modernised form of governance. As to who is on that governance is the choice of the kohanga Fano themselves, not the government. So, so, so you're where the old, uh, you're where the old trust board. That's what you're saying with a mixture of, of young, uh, maybe young new trustees coming through. But some people, I mean, some people might see this as a bit of a smokescreen, uh, Minister. You know, you're driving the kohanga deal into the ground. So in the end, they just have to give up because, because you know, you look at the spending and what, what's the spending work out to in the end? Is it 0.5% of their total spend? I mean, you're uh, talking peanuts when you, when you compare with, say, Novapay. Uh, well, so, so talk about um, distractions. The fact of the matter is um, public monies are paid to the National Trust to transfer on to Kohanga Reo. Mm. It amounts to about $86 million a year. It is not peanuts. We need to ensure that we can be accountable for that funding. The Trust has been reviewed by several entities, have got a number of recommendations, are stepping through putting those in place, have appointed a new Chief Executive. What remains is to modernise the government. I am not saying who should be on that governance. All right. I am saying that it needs to be representative, transparent and accountable, and that is something that the Trust and Kohanga are eminently capable of doing. And you've, you accept they've got clearances everywhere. So in terms of uh, the claim, is that going to be put back on the table? Will you address the claim in 2012 that found your government and yourself in breach of the relationship with, uh, with Kohanga? Well, actually, that's not what the tribunal found. Um, and what, the, what Sir Michael Cullen's role was to do was to take the report, put in place a work programme for the representatives of Kohanga and for the government to work through together. And throughout this process, I have been consistent in saying that I will re go back to the table to discuss that work plan when there is a modernised representative governance entity. Now, the Trust accepted that. They have been around the country consulting with their kōhanga. They have said, to begin with, that they will cease the practice of lifetime appointments. What I haven't yet heard, and it is in completely in the hands of the Trust and kōhanga as to time, what their new modern uh, representation right. will be. So you're waiting, you're waiting on that, uh, but they're on the right track. Thank you for your time. Obviously, uh, this morning, Minister Kilda. Kilda.